Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout between Jose Medina versus Zach Reese. And how do I feel about this one right here is I'm going average confidence Zach Reese to beat Jose Medina. And yeah, Jose Medina, he's a solid fighter as far as a fighter. As far as technically or you know, skill-wise or he's at, not really. No disrespect. It's just reality. He's not no, he don't really belong here in the UFC. He could, he could pull off a win, but does he really technically, skill-wise, accomplishment-wise, does he belong here? No. He didn't win his contender series fight. He don't show the skills. All he really does is show the heart. And that's really what all he's bringing in this fight. He's bringing heart. If he could break Reese, that's his path to victory, but I don't feel like he's going to be able to break Reese. But it's MMA, it can happen, but yeah, I don't, I don't see it happen. So that's what my confidence average is. Average, my high confidence? No, don't get confused. Don't be like, oh, average is, his average is so good. Average ain't high. Average for me is like 71%, which is good. It's great, to be honest. That's a great average to have. 71 is your average. That's supposed to be, well, I guess that's actually where your average is supposed to be. Kind of, but um, yeah, average 71% average is pretty good. You know, for, you know, picking UFC, not just picking MMA or not just picking these boxing matches where it's like you're getting these 3,000, minus 3,000 favorites. But MMA, you know, the best guys really ever going to touch 70%. And the fact that my averages are like 72% right now, that's insane. Even though my overall actual average is like 69. Having an average confident pick ratio, like this purely my average confident pick ratio be 72%, that's that's pretty phenomenal, to be honest. But where it's really at is high comp, that's like 83%, and lock is 100%. So if you see high and lock, that's when you really, really lock in. You, know, you could probably you know, play a couple parlays here off the averages, but high and lock, that's when you could, you could hit the whole run, whole, uh, the home run hitter on. But I'm yapping too much. I'm not even talking about the pick. But anyway, yeah, Jose Medina is really just a, a tough guy. That's about it. And I think Zach Reese can deal with a tough guy. And he showed he has some pretty good power. He's a pretty big, huge um, middleweight. He could knock him out or sub. I'm going to say, um, matter of fact, I'm going to say sub. Medina's going to be tough. I think Zach Reese is going to be able to hurt him. And Medina's going to just keep coming. And Zach Reese probably either going to drop him and then follow him to the ground and submit him. Or maybe just see him coming in all aggressive and sloppy, take him down, and then ground a pound sub him. So I'm saying um, second round submission for Zach Reese. So. In this one, I got Zach Reese via second round submission. 